Hey everybody, this is Dax. Glad to have you back. So I'm going to revisit Lonesome Town that Grace did a rendition of Ricky Nelson's 1959 hit. She did a, the rendition from home when she was sick, I think, in early 2018. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, right after she had turned 14. And so the reason I'm redoing it is because uh, Sam Borgman on his YouTube site uh, added some a piano background to this to give it, as he said, a, a hint of hopefulness to her yearning, uh, hopefulness and light, lightness to her yearning and anguish uh, that she has in the song. And she does, it's sort of a almost mournful longing in the song. So uh, congratulations, by the way, Sam, on going over six and a half thousand subscribers. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and do a, another reaction on this. I can't wait to see this. And by the way, where did you get this picture? I mean, this is phenomenal. Grace's lovely profile overlooking a landscape. It almost looks, she almost looks like a Greek goddess here. How appropriate on that, right? So what do you say? We jump in. I can't wait to see how this is going to play out because the other one was gorgeous, gorgeously mournful. And so we'll see how the piano affects it. So here we go with Lonesome Town. It's short with uh, Grace and the piano that Sam put in. There's a place where lovers go To cry their troubles away I just got to say right from the start, I like I like Ricky Nelson's version, but it's kind of a glossy, you know, ver late 1950s, which they tended to do, you know, sort of, it, sa it sounded just a little bit commercial, you know. Grace adds so much grit to this song, so much pers personal emotion to this song, and that just that raspy voice of hers, wow. Love the piano intro on this and the ongoing piano. And they call it Lonesome Town Where the broken hearts stay I like how the piano is accentuating each accent in her voice as well. It's very nice. You could buy a dream or two to last you all through the year and the only price you pay i love the i'm sorry to stop it again i love the tinkly piano playing right there added a nice little upbeat to it even though she's coming in low voice. I really like that. I want to hear that again. Also, I love the occasional almost ember uh, lighting that comes into this, almost like it's a fire behind. So I want to hear that again. And the only price you pay is a heart full of tears. Man, did she grab you or what? Going down to the lonesome town Where the broken hearts stay Going down to lonesome town To cry my troubles away In a town a broken dreams The streets are paved with regret Maybe down in lonesome town I can learn to forget Maybe down in lonesome town I gotta hear that again. Down in 
in lonesome town I can learn to forget You know what the piano does on this? It's extraordinary. The piano on this turns this into a classic. I mean, it's, it turns it into something that should be on a record, a single, and listened to in a cabin for the rest of your life. It's an extraordinary accompaniment, Sam. It's really lovely. Something that hit me about this image, everything about this is just perfect. Her voice, the intonation, the raspiness, the, the pacing that she puts on this, the slow pacing, the emo visceral, emotional, yearning, longing that she has in this. And it's, but it's not necessarily sad. It's just almost more reflective. But getting back to the perfection on this, the perfection is the piano accompaniment with Grace's voice. And even this image, and as you can see, the occasional orange ember uh, that flies across, the, that floats across the screen. And then great, Grace's profile picture in this, oversized, overlooking the lonesome landscape and the lone person out there on a little knoll. And it's almost like Grace is looking at that person and that person is her. I don't know, it just hit me. It's just perfect. Everything about this is simply captivating and riveting. Just before it was just Grace's voice, and now it's everything. And really, I think this should this should be packaged. I, I I would like for Grace's folks, and producers, and Grace herself to listen to this and say yes. This, this is this is how I want it to be remembered forever. So I think actually what Sam has done is make the original even better, and that's very difficult to do with Grace. So thank you, Sam. Just, boy, that just, just affects me, just the whole song itself. I mean, who hasn't been in Lonesome Town? Man, and it's such a side of Grace's personality. You can tell she's a bon vivant. I mean, when she gets her in her interviews, she is electric. But the side of her, that creative side of her, is Lonesome Town. That is where you create. That's where I create. I create in Lonesome Town. And Grace has an intimate relationship with her lonesome town. Gorgeous, just simply gorgeous. I look forward to hearing y'all's responses and comments. Let me know, let me know. So I'll catch you soon on the backside. Take care of yourselves. Bye now.